what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology it's a beautiful friday morning here and today i thought that i should make the video on akshay tritya festival which is coming on 18th of april very soon 18th is very near all right so today we will be discussing on what akshay tritya is and what are the significances and what are the significations and why is it celebrated and why is it such a great day and what we could do in days like this all right so i'll be speaking from the references of the speaking tree.com so no plagiarism here <laughs> all right and i'll also give uh, my own uh, view on this festival so there you go if you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please 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 subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website the link is probably there in the description below there you go and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him yes so now finally sun is in the last degrees of mean rashi the zodiac sign of pisces and it is going to move into the sign of aries which is the exaltation of sun yes we all know that sun gets exalted in aries so now moon is today in the constellation of purva bhadrapada and uh, oh sorry it is in yes it is in purva bhadrapada now and tomorrow it is going to be in uttar bhadrapada then revati then ashvini and then is going to enter bharani then kritika where it is going to be exalted in the uh, second pada of kritika nakshatra in taurus which is the day 18th and that is the day when both sun will be in aries and moon will be in taurus yes so basically what this means is sun and moon represent the atma and the manas as we all know sun is the significator of the soul and moon represents the mind how we perceive this world what we think of this world is yes so when these two are in their highest peak points of exaltation which is known as uchcharashi in sanskrit so that means that our ability to do good is at the highest and our ability to perceive things in this world is at its peak our ability to do things which give us fulfillment or which will give us fulfillment in the higher in the higher realms in the long run is at the peak so that means we should use this festival this day for uh, great spiritual activity so first let me say what this festival is all about so if i go to, go to the speaking tree.com the website so first is the significance all right so akshay tritya is widely celebrated in india and it is also known as akha tij and it falls on the third lunar day of shukla paksha of vaishak month tritya is the third tithi the third lunar day the birth of lord parshuram the sixth incarnation of lord vishnu is also celebrated on this day on this very day vedvyas began to write the mahabharat fantastic brilliant this is so it is saying here that vyasdev uh, had started writing the mahabharat my god what auspicious day it is and parshuram the sixth incarnation who had wiped off the chatriyas for 21 times had taken birth in uh, this holy day so parshuram ji was born and due to the atrocities of the kings and the chatriyas he had wiped off the planet 21 times of the chatriyas and then he had donated it to great sages like kashyap muni yes because the chatriyas had become very atrocious once upon a time and mahabharat as we all know it is the largest poem in this planet yes it is actually a poem so the mahabharat was also uh, started on this day as it is said here then the second thing is about muhurat of akshay tritya akshay tritya is believed to be a very auspicious muhurat it is also regarded as a sarve siddhi murat <laughs> on this murat both the godly planets that is sun and moon are at their exaltation point and that is why we can say that they are at their extreme brightness as i said already and the auspicious phenomena happens only for a few hours once in a year and no special murat is needed to perform any auspicious work on this day so which means that when you are doing something on akshay tritya you don't need to see the murat which is a good time which is a bad time you don't need to see where what is the lagna what is this what is that okay you can just directly start away kick it kick off <laughs> so 
if you are planning to uh, do some auspicious activity on 18th you don't have to go and consult an astrologer oh when is a good murat when is when is uh, when is the best murat so it is known as sarva siddhi murat yes which means any time you start it is going to give fantastic results then third is the meaning aksha means immortal or something that is indestructible akshaya chaya is destruction and a means that which is not so that which cannot be destroyed or something that is indestructible and tritiya means third lunar day so anything we that anything that we do on akshaya tritiya grows with time and cannot be destroyed hence it is recommended to begin auspicious activities on this day such as purchase of a land or uh, purchase of a house land or jewelry and any investment like real estate or stock starting a company or website or getting married or anything that you want to be uh, with you forever can be initiated on this day so if there's anything that we want that stays till we leave this planet then maybe this is the best day to start so and then is the story behind akshatritya there are many stories actually so let's see what's there according to mahabharat it is believed that on this glorious day lord sun gifted the akshay patra to the pandavas yes this was an enchanted pot which had a never ending supply of food one day draupadi needed food for visit for a visiting sage who was that sage write down in the comments yes 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 i know you know that and therefore prayed to lord krishna for food the situation of the pandavas was very precarious that day and then they prayed to lord krishna for food krishna appeared and ate the last grain that was stuck on the akshay patra patra means that pot Now that one grain satisfied Krishna's belly and in turn satisfied all the human beings and also the visiting sage. Who was that sage? Great sage. Write down in the comments. Let me see how many of you know. <laughs> the next story. After a fierce battle with Mahishasura that lasted for ten days, Goddess Durga killed him on this day. Oh, this story is also there. According to the Puranas, this day also marks the beginning of Trita Yuga and Satya Yuga, respectively. Fantastic. Krishna Sudama reunion. After a span of many years, on this auspicious day, Krishna uh, Sudama visited his long lost childhood friend, Lord Sri Krishna. Where did he visit Krishna? Write down in the comments if you know. <laughs> Sudama was very poor and did not have any gift to offer him. beautiful this is realizing that it would not be nice to go empty handed he asked his wife to prepare some food that he could give him as a present having virtually nothing in the house my god she picked up some rice and packed it in a little piece of cloth she said to him that go and give this to your best childhood friend then the next thing is lord krishna and sudama's reunion part 2 lord krishna embraced him in a grand way he bestowed upon him his love blessings and kindness and thus began a turning point in sudama's life when he had everything that he could have dreamt of and then what happened we all know sudama went back and then he saw that his entire city was renovated by vishwakarma and it was like the heavens yes we all know that so the next thing is how to celebrate lord vishnu and his incarnations are worshiped on this day Puja of Kuber and Goddess Lakshmi is done on this day who are the bestowers of wealth and prosperity Lord Brahma is also pleased if sandalwood water and modaks are offered to him all the dwars of Chardham temples yes Chardham okay dwaras means the doors i thought this was an english word <laughs> all the dwars of Chardham temples are opened on this day Chardham temples if you don't know or if you know please write it in the comments <laughs> which are the char dham temples all the dwars of the char dham temples are opened on this day in the end as per matsya puran chanting of mantras charity yagyas and offerings to god and fasting on this day yields inexhaustible fruits my god fantastic this article is so i think that is it from speaking tree and what i would say personally is if you are planning to do some uh, new spiritual practice anything it is starting to chant some mantras or reading the scriptures or anything it is giving some donations giving some charity then
please don't miss this day yes go out on the morning of 18th and do as much charity as you want do whatever you want if you want to start reading the gita or the bible or the quran it's fantastic because those are primarily the activities like chanting mantras or reading the scriptures which we are supposed to do every day and till the last moment of our lives yes so it is highly recommended that we start these activities on akshay tritya and if you are also planning to do some investments or have some gathering then that's also fine but my only request is don't just waste this day by going to hotels or going to pubs or by going to places where we can always go any other day also right so this day should be used for spirituality exclusively and apart from that you can also do mantras and all this for kuber and for lakshmi and all this for your wealth prosperity and material well being that's fine but uh, let us use this day for spiritual activities and Uh, many people who have recently taken consultation from me i have suggested them that you start chanting the mantras which i have given you on 18th akshay tritya so that is like a very strong foundation a very strong ground yes so sun and moon are in their highest exaltation points and akshay tritya is also a very great day to offer our gratitude to our preceptors to our gurus our guides our counselors our father our mother and all the seniors who have been guiding us in our spiritual or materialistic journey i had yes especially if you have a guru and then you are very fortunate so then we can maybe call him or her up and say thank you very much for saving me yes otherwise i don't know where i would be uh, rotting in the material existence as in the scriptures it is said om agyan timirandhasya gyana anjana shalakaya chakshur unmilitam yena tasmay shri guruve nama that the spiritual master removes the darkness which is caused by the blindness of ignorance and om agyan timir andhasya gyana anjana and he lets gyana anjana he puts knowledge into our eyes yes shalakaya chakshur unmilitam yena and by that our eyes are illuminated so on 18th it is fantastic if we can go and meet some of our gurus whoever we have been uh, connected to from the past and also if you are planning to go and meet some new guru that is also a very good day to do that because then that connection will stay for very long time okay and if you are planning to go on a pilgrimage or to some uh, if on, if you are near to one of the char dham temples then you are very lucky rameshwaram jagannath puri then dwarka and then badrinath if i am correct these are the char dham temples maybe i am wrong i don't know <laughs> so if you are near to these places then it's a fantastic time to visit all those or i mean i mean that which is near to you so you can go and visit suppose you are somewhere in chennai like i was then please 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 go and visit rameshwaram this day will not come till the next year again so and if you have not booked tickets my god then book it or go go with a taxi yeah. rameshwaram is very far from chennai so you can do that or if you are in north india then you can go to rishikesh haridwar all those places prayag so many places are there if you are in the east you can visit the holy land of jagannath puri where lord jagannath baldev and subhadra who they are who actually krishna balram and subhadra himself so they are also residing there or you can also visit dwarka or any other place where any other holy place where uh, you feel very much connected to yes so if you are probably a muslim watching this then you can also visit some holy darga maybe or if you are a christian watching this then maybe you can visit some famous church very famous which is yes or you can go and meet meet the father or whoever it is whoever you are connected to and then we can offer our respects our gratitude our goodwill to our gurus and we can also ask them that is there anything that we can do for them which uh, will uh, give them uh, which will give them happiness because as rishabh dev says in the fifth canto of shrimad bhagavatam he says to his most pristine and the most the most illustrious son whose name is bharat maharaj as we all know so he says to bharat maharaj that mahat sevanam api dwara vimukteshu which means that when we serve great personalities mat sevana api dwara vimukteshu the doors to liberation mukti opens yes the doors to moksha emancipation that the doors to ultimate fulfillment in life open so we should not miss this chance to go and ask our gurus if there is something we can do maybe we can open a website for him 
or maybe whatever anything if you are an IT engineer maybe you can open an app for him <coughs> yes whatever it is or if he wants that you give some donation then that also you can do okay and if you are also planning to get married then probably maybe <laughs> already <laughs> you have planned because today you can't plan and get married on 18 that's not possible but if you are planning to start the procedure of marriage yes or the wedding or whatever you call it you are planning to search proposals then 18th is a very good day you can search the arranged marriage system in india good old arranged marriage system <laughs> and anything else if you are planning to meet somebody then that also you can do fantastic it is and yes if you are planning to write uh, start things like uh, reading a book or writing a book that is also fantastic so uh, the question is what will i be doing so i will also start writing a book finally on akshatriti i don't know what will be the name i don't know what will be the topic i have not decided yet i have not thought over it but i will start writing a book and then maybe uh, by the time the eclipse is there somewhere in august 11th or so maybe by that time i publish the book i have not decided upon it yet but that is what i will be starting on akshatritya personally from my side so let's see what akshatritya has stored for us okay so that is it from my side i hope you wish uh, you enjoy this festival properly and do spiritual activities and yes lastly doing fasting and donations is also fantastic in this day yes the results that we get are multi 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 million billion trillion times more okay so let us not not miss this opportunity to do new spiritual practices and do things which will give us fulfillment to the soul on the ultimate level okay so wish you good luck bye bye until next time if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please approach me to my website and there you go whoever is there in your life who has given you happiness please go and say thank you to them this akshat with you okay until next time wish you good luck and always remember god is there with you all the time just look to him and please visit him also this akshat with you okay until next time bye bye see you